So, of course, I, what is this? What's going on here? Skip to my Lou, my darling. Hi guys, it's Lou. Welcome back to another Because Instagram video where we find weird things trending on Instagram and we try them just because. Today we're gonna do all kinds of stuff with lipstick. I have seen many a video on Instagram where people are destroying their makeup. And the thing that I see the most of is lipstick. And worst of all, it is designer, very expensive lipstick that is being ruined. So of course, I wanna get in on this. And it just so happens that I have a plethora of lipstick that I've never used and am never going to. I'm a lip gloss girl, I don't wear lipstick, so I figured we would use these for a video and destroy them. I just wanted to make a point of that so you guys know that I'm not being wasteful. I was going to throw these lipsticks away, but instead, I'm gonna cut it, burn it, boil it, break it, cook it, slime it, smash it, squeeze it, and nuke it. So let's go and take these lipsticks and have some fun. So here's the first lipstick. It's a red one and I just cut the end off and I'm gonna just simply cut it up. And that's all I've seen them do is just smash it with a knife. Very exciting. But you know what would make this more exciting? More lipstick. So here we've got a peach colored lipstick and try to slice it this way. Nope, there we go. And just smash that in there. Now I am not sure of the obsession with this particular type of lipstick destroying. Next I decided to microwave some lipstick and I chose three very different colors and I put them in the middle of a white plate so we could watch whatever happens while it's in there. I put the lipsticks in there for an entire minute. I am very very shocked that not much is happening. I anticipate taking them out far before a minute because I imagine that they are going to melt and bubble like crazy. As you can see, that isn't happening. At the one minute mark, the lipsticks have less than budged. There's one in particular that melted, but the other two, not at all. I'm very amazed by that. And I'm thinking perhaps because they don't have a lot of liquid in them, namely water, which is what you need to have in any item that goes into the microwave for it to cook. So what I decided to do with these three lipsticks remaining is boil them. So I have a pot of hot water and I drop each of the three lipsticks in separately and right away the red and the pink are melting. But that light pink, just like in the microwave, it is not doing much at all. And I'm turning the stove off and just kind of seeing what is going on with these lipsticks. So it's gonna be really fun to clean out this pot. Next, I'm going to melt via the cooking method. And with that, I'm just going to take what I usually would put pancakes on, throw it on my stove, put a couple lipsticks on there and see what happens. Right away, of course, they start sliding across the pan. And I have to say, they're making very beautiful, shimmery liquid puddles. Next is melting by fire. And that's real simple. I'm just gonna hold flame up to the lipstick and watch it melt down like a candle. Next, I'm just gonna have a little fun and put a lipstick through a tiny strainer. And this is going to look a lot like a Play-Doh Fun Factory, which as a kid I loved. And there it goes as I push it through with my finger and that's pretty much it. And as easy as that was, it is probably the best result out of all the lipstick destroying. Next, we are going to take a lipstick and freeze it. And I thought, how is a lipstick going to freeze solid enough for me to hit it with a hammer and it to go into pieces. So I put it in some water and froze it. And what I'm hoping for is an ice cube with the lipstick in the middle so it stays frozen and I'll hit it with a hammer. What I tried to do was make a very see-through ice cube by boiling water twice because I read that this will give you crystal clear ice cubes. Well, not so much in this case. I took the ice cube outside, smashed it with a hammer, and unfortunately the lipstick didn't do much and I am now going to have stained concrete on my front stoop. So I had a lipstick left over and I wasn't quite sure what to do with it until I opened my daughter's cabinet and found her huge collection of slime. So I thought, why not put a lipstick in some slime and see what happens? Luckily, I found a white batch. Not so lucky that it was super sticky and I didn't know how to unstick it. So let's put that piece of pink lipstick in the white slime 
and mix it together. So although it is remaining in chunks for the most part, it is starting to make a pink slime and making my countertops pink as well. So I think I'm done with this. It is far too gooey and there you have it, pink slime. I proceeded to play with the slime for a little while. So there you have it you guys, I have destroyed lipstick in many different ways and the reason I did that was because Instagram. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you learned something, I know that I did. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up and if you aren't already subscribed but would like to be, please hit that button down below and you will see me very soon with more videos. Bye guys!